Hello everybody, I'm Joe from the GM Toolbox and this is your Project Black Flag update. Today is February 3rd, 2023, and as promised, Cobalt Press has given us another update to Project Black Flag, so let's take a look. Okay, so here we are on Cobalt Press's blog, and let's see what they have to say. It is February, and Project Black Flag playtesting draws even closer. As our Cobalts work their nimble designs in editing the first playtest material, we're excited to answer some of your burning questions. Partners, first, let's reveal just a few of our partners raising the flag with us. The virtual space is increasingly important to Cobalt Press and tabletop games, so we're excited to announce some of the VTT and digital tool partners we'll work with over the next few months. I love this because after everything that happened with the OGL and kind of them wanting to somewhat oppress virtual tabletops, I love that you know, Project Black Flag is all in with all of these partners. We have Shard, Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, my personal favorite, Foundry VTT, also World Anvil and Demiplane are in on it, and Alchemy, which is a really cool tool for more of Fear of the Mind type gaming, except, you know, it gives you some cool graphics and other things that you can do. So it's a combination of uh, virtual space and Fear of the Mind. Really neat tool worth checking out. Let's read on. Some things stay the same. As announced, Project Black Flag will be compatible with 5e. But there's more. Cobalt plans to revise and sharpen familiar mechanics while offering new streamlined options for a core tabletop game. Dice Goblins of the World rejoice! You can keep your horde as Project Black Flag will use the beloved time-tested set of platonic solids, D4 to D20, and also D10, which is okay. Sure, it's a platonic solid, but everyone loves it so much, no one brings it up. And what kind of kobolds would we be if we didn't show love to our monsters? You can expect Project Black Flag core book of 400 monsters, fully illustrated. It'll include some of your favorite classic fantasy monsters and all new ones to be devil players. So this will be their version of kind of your SRD monsters, right? All those standard monsters that we have that you know normally we would look in the, the SRD or the Monster Manual kind of book for, well, they're gonna release you know black flag versions of those. Plus, as always, some really cool kobold exclusive monsters. Their monster books have always been top quality, so that is something I am very, very excited about. Now, I'm wondering if we're going to have a core book that has all the base rules and the monsters in one, or is it going to be two separate books? Or are they going to do like a three-book set, a player's guide, a, a GM's guide, and a monster guide? We'll see. All right, so N, some things change. Now let's talk about ongoing design. The first playtest packet in February contains rules and mechanics that focus on character creation. Talents and Backgrounds, a new talent system helps players customize their character with potent magic, martial, or technical advantages. I am kind of, not a, not a ton in there, but, you know, I'm wondering if it's going to be kind of more of a talent tree so that not every, you know, uh, uh, you know, fighter is the same. Like, you know, rather than subclasses, maybe we'll see more talents. I don't know. I'm kind of curious because I know they want to keep it 5e compatible. So I'm, I'm interested to see how this plays out. Uh, this sounds cool, though. This part I like a lot. Race and heritage system. Not every dwarf was raised among dwarves. So we split those aspects to help refine character concept. During creation, choose a race, which represents a character's biology and a heritage to represent upbringing in a particular group or society. Choose a standard match of race and heritage for more traditional character or mix and match to craft a unique origin. So this is cool. I think this is something that maybe 5e kind of missed on, right? They gave us and said, you know what? Just uh, put your plus two and your plus one anywhere you want. Uh, because not everybody's the same. Not every dwarf is is Connie. Some you know might be more Dex or more charismatic, which makes sense. But what they're doing here is saying you do have certain in eight racial features, and then you have things that might represent more of your upbringing. So rather than uh, you know race being its own thing, we also have race and heritage as kind of a combo. And I really love this concept. I think that's gonna work out really cool. Very, very much looking forward to the play testing of that. And we'll do some play testing of all this on my live streams on uh, on probably Friday evenings. I'll do 
uh, Black Flag playtest, and then Tuesday we'll focus on other stuff. Let's read on. We look forward to your feedback and helping us refine these options. So we'll have a new playtest packet each month highlighting new features and options. Do you want to get these packets and help us playtest? Sign up to join our playtest crew. Thank you to everyone who continues to support us as we develop Project Black Flag raise those flags high. All right, this all sounds super awesome. I'm very, very excited. I really appreciate uh, Cobalt Press kind of having this this uh, every Friday update, makes it that I have something to really look forward to and I can bring these videos to you and kind of brief you on this stuff as well. And make sure you stay tuned when Playtest launches. Come over and join me on my lives as we will do, be doing Playtest live. That's it for today, guys. Keep those flags raised high and until next time, roll those dice.